I'd like to talk for a moment about the namesake of the Harry Statham Coach of Impact Award, Coach Harry Statham himself. Many of you know the numbers. They're staggering. 1,122 wins as the head coach of McKendry. The first coach in the history of college basketball to win 1,000 games. His 1,122 wins and 1,635 games coached were the most in the history of college basketball at the time he finished his career in 2018. He has the awards and the recognition. Coach Statham has been named the NAI Illinois Basketball Coaches Men's Basketball Coach of the Year 12 times. And in 1987, he was inducted into their Hall of Fame. In 1998, Statham's career accomplishments and achievements were recognized with his induction into the NAI Hall of Fame. Statham has received the AMC Coach of the Year eight different times and six times was the recipient of the NAI District 20 Coach of the Year. He was selected as the 2001 and 2 NAI Men's Basketball National Coach of the Year. In 2005, Coach Statham was recognized by the NABC with the Guardians of the Game Leadership Award, an honor bestowed by his peers. That same summer, the United States Sports Academy presented him with its Distinguished Service Award, awarded annually to individuals who have made outstanding contributions to national or international sports through education, research, and service. In 2006, the Lebanon City Council honored Coach Statham by renaming a roadway on the McKendry campus, Harry Statham Way. The university's gymnasium, the Harry Statham Sports Center, is also named for him. Recently, Coach Statham has been named as the first member of the class of 2022 of the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame. He will be inducted on November 4th at the Polk Theater in Lakeland, Florida. His accomplishments are staggering, yet he's really revered in college basketball, not just for his wins and his awards, but because of his character, integrity, and his humble demeanor. He is truly the gentleman of college basketball. Several months ago, I had the honor of attending a gathering of former McKendry players who gathered to honor their coach. It was an extreme honor when Coach Statham asked me to speak. You should have seen it. You should have heard the stories that day. These former players, now in their 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s, they just poured their hearts out, talking about the impact that their coach made on their lives. It was a wonderfully emotional day, and it was obvious that they just loved their coach. While each one had a personal story or message, I remember Paul Funkhauser, former All-American from McKendry, mentioning something that he learned by watching and observing Coach Statham, not only during his time as a player, but as a longtime assistant coach and now longtime friend of Coach Statham. Paul Funkhauser spent a lot of time with Coach Statham, and he said something that has stuck with me, and it had nothing to do with basketball and everything to do with his character and Coach Statham as a human being. He talked about marriage, and here's what he said that day. Paul Funkhauser said, he said he watched how he treated his wife, Rose. And here's what he learned. He said, when you get married, you take care of that woman. You be faithful to that woman, and you love that woman. Man, the power of the example. Coach Statham is an example. A coach of impact. Let me tell you a little bit about this award that is named in his honor, the Harry Statham Coach of Impact Award. The purpose of the award is to honor a coach that has used the power of the coaching platform to make a positive impact on players, coaches, and others. The coach will be a person of high character and integrity who has served as an excellent role model and who has deeply impacted the lives of others. The annual winner of the Harry Statham Coach of Impact Award must have coached at the small college level for a majority of his career and must have a high degree of personal character and integrity. The coach may be a current or former coach, but will honor a living coach annually. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my true honor to introduce the gentleman of college basketball, Coach Harry Statham, the first coach in the history of college basketball to win 1,000 games. Coach Statham, take it away.
Thank you very much, John. Good evening, everyone. This is another wonderful weekend for small college basketball. We honor these special award winners. John McCarthy has done and continues to do a fantastic job with his organization. I first met John at the NAIA National Tournament back several years ago in Kansas City. And uh, he was introduced as a director for the tournament, as a new, new, new post there. Uh, he was new on the scene. He was everywhere. Uh, things ran like clockwork. John loved it. And I said, we're going to see John again soon. Of course, he founded this, this organization. And uh, uh, it's incredible what he's doing. About four years ago, uh, he created this Coach of Impact Award. It honors a coach who is making a positive impact on the players, on the game, and on society. I spent over 70 years as a player and coach in the game and seen a lot of great things happen on the court and in life. Unfortunately, in recent years, there's so much pressure to win that key words like integrity and character sometimes are ignored. We coaches must use our influence to turn this thing around. It's impossible to overemphasize integrity, reputation, and character. Hopefully this award will help coaches remember how much impact and influence they have, especially on their players. This 2022 Coach of Impact Award goes to Steve Ritter of Embry-Riddle University in Daytona Beach, Florida. In 88-89, Embry-Riddle started the basketball program. They had zero wins the first year. Coach Ritter came along his first year. He was 4-24. and 24. Second year, 22 and 8. That's an NAI turnaround record. He never looked back. He's had an amazing career, numerous honors and awards, and tonight just a few of them for, for, this, for this program. Uh, 740 wins. He took his team to the NAIA National Tournament 17 times. In 2019, he won the NAI National Championship. He was coach of the year. He earned one of the highest distinctions in basketball coaching, NABC Guardians of the Game Award for Leadership. He's been coach of the year eight times, received five Hall of Fame awards, including the NAI Hall of Fame Award. He serves as athletic director for 20 years and it was named the NEI Director of the Year um, in 2006. He's the architect of the unique Embry-Riddle athletic philosophy of student, person, player. That's quite a, quite a deal. Uh, there's a scholarship every year that's awarded to an athlete that, that best presents that philosophy. Now this season, he won 24 games, he advanced to Division II Sweet 16, and he was also a speaker at the Final Four in ABC Clinic. Another great year. On a personal note, in 2012, we took a southern trip. We played four games in Florida. Our last game was against Emory Riddle. I'd never met Coach, but her certainly had a, you know, a lot of great things about him. He's a wonderful host. We spend a lot of time together talking about basketball, postseason play, NAI. Coach Ritter is a terrific guy, a tremendous coach of impact, and a wonderful role model for our coaches. I am very happy to, to honor Coach Steve Ritter as a coach of impact and call him my friend.
Coach Vitter. Let's get Thank this you, man. Sir. Right now, Thank you so much, big guy. Are we good? Okay. Just about the way here. It's awesome. I'm gonna read yours. Get that guy. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. <clears throat> I would like to start by thanking John McCarthy and Small College Basketball. Uh, John, thank you for making the extra effort to getting Vicki and I here on an airplane with about an hour's time to get ready, and then we get to fly out around 4.30 tomorrow morning. People, and, and we're, we're very grateful, people think because we're Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, that I just jump out of my office and jump on my own airplane. That is not the case. What we actually worry about, because one out of every four commercial pilots are Embry-Riddle grads, and this happened a couple months ago. When we came around the corner, it was one of our former players was the pilot, which you think that's exciting, which it is. However, this was the kid off the national championship team that didn't get much playing time. We were very nervous if revenge was in his mindset. Thank God it was not. So thank you, John, and thanks for what you're doing with small college basketball. It's absolutely amazing. Coach, this morning at around 4.30, I hope you don't think I'm weird, but I had to Google Coach Harry Statham. What an absolute story. I had all the numbers memorized as such. They, they're our state, and it's, it's, it's crazy. One, one, two, two victories, 52 years, 44 as a director of athletics. So I kept getting into the numbers. I'm like, this, is, this I'm a young pup. I'm not even halfway there and any of that stuff. And so spending the last 20 minutes with you, it's already been worth the trip. But what I really enjoyed discovering this morning or probably validating what you really are all about. And I know if you read our stuff, you probably think we stole some of your things because as you shared today, and I watched the video, we went out and got kids who wanted to get a great education. We wanted to go out and get kids that were good boys, that wanted to play hard, and we wanted some talent. That's what we try to do. We call it the package. Great students, great people, great players, that's the package. So I know, I don't think we copied it from you, but I know we're on the same page there. But what I watched and looked, this morning, what I love most, you summed it all up and you said, you know what this thing's all about, this coaching thing? And I was on the edge of my seat because I'm like, come on, I know what it is. Are we on it? And you said, relationships. And that is, that does my heart good. And that's why this particular award means as much as any award I've ever gotten. Because you are and have been the model for us in this profession. You did it the right way. You were the very best, and I don't even think there's a close second. So I am honored because I think our programs, or at least our goal, would be to simulate what your program was at McKendry and how you coached. Here's what I wanted to share with you in my few minutes. At age 21, uh, my wife and I got married. We went to a school called Berea College. Look it up. It's the, one of the greatest. No one pays tuition. You had to be really smart. You had to be really poor. My wife, Vicki, was really smart. I was really poor. That's why they let us in there. Long story short, from age 21 to 29, my wife and I was chief accountant, assistant basketball, head baseball, taught racquetball, Pell Grant verification, went to grad school, had two kids. But guess what we got to do? Go back and live in the dorm from age 21 to 29 because we had about $200 to our name, and they let us live free there. So throughout the night, we were taking care of 400 kids that lived above this, and they were really known for breaking the rules once in a while. We paid our dues. And so now we've been blessed to be at Ember-Riddle for 32 years. And here's what we've learned. At age 21, when I was asked to give my first speaking engagement, scared to death to an upward bound group, I came up with something that I still have used for 40 plus years. I hope you can relate to it because it is all about leadership, isn't it? It's really this impact thing and the coach, it's all about leadership. I'm not saying I've arrived, but at least I have some direction. L, you gotta love this stuff every single day. E, you gotta bring some enthusiasm. 
A, you got to have a great attitude, even when you are 0 and 19 in that 4 and 24. I might add, out of four wins, two were Florida Bible, the other two were forfeits. I went to the mailbox, somebody had forfeited. I'm like, yeah, the next day, somebody else had formed us four. I kept going back to the mailbox. I was thinking we're gonna have a 20 win season on forfeits. You gotta have great attitude when it's not there. D, discipline, I know you're all about discipline. E, set the right example, not perfect. R, earn respect. S, be a servant leader, serve others. That's what this profession is all about, serving. L-E-A-D-E-R-S-H, be humble. Don't be telling everybody how good you are. Let everybody else tell you how good you are. I, integrity, which is right at the top for you, and P, take some pride. I haven't arrived with all those every day. It's just a standard that I put up there, and I shoot for every day, and sometimes I really fall below, but at least it gives me some direction. Last thing, a lot of gifts out there. Gift of listening skills, cheerful disposition, compassion. What I've learned in my lifetime, and especially with some things that have occurred in our life is the most important gift of life, and that's called the gift of perspective. We love winning championships. We love making a difference in young people's lives. But at the end of the day, we really care about others. And um, I'm blessed to be here tonight. Uh, it's been a quick trip, but already it has been so worth it. I am honored, honored to have anything associated with you and your name. And I'm appreciative of the recognition and just glad to be here. Thank you very much.